Well, it's time for a style diary once more. I'm talking about what I've worn in September and I've done it on a diary basis again, talking about the outfits as I go along and where I was going to. But first of all, there were a couple of clips where I didn't do that. So let me just tell you about outfit number one. I'm wearing uh, my beige chinos and put it together with a, a, a bag that I needed to take a lot of bits and pieces in. So I used a, a rather large light colored bag that actually goes with the chinos, white trainers, and I use my navy t-shirt. I really do like the navy with the beige, the white. I thought this is very quite classy casual look. Then another day I wore my white jeans. I wore my animal, quite quirky blouse with the hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses and giraffes on it, a bit of fun blouse. Leather jacket in a light colour. I used my little nude coloured flats from, from Vivaya and also a green bag because there's a bit of green in my blouse and I thought this kind of pulled the look together. So the, the, the colours are really sand as in the jacket and the shoes, white or ivory and green. Now this is a light wash jacket that Mary and I, my really Paris and Pension, I'll link her channel down below. She has a blog as well actually, she does more on her blog than she does on her YouTube. But she and I often end up coincidentally buying the same clothes, such as this dress. Anyway, uh, a few years ago we both bought this jacket from Primark and I did put it in my capsule wardrobe because it's a lightweight jacket for this time of year that I was going to wear in September and I did. I added the green blouse that I bought recently from Marks and Spencers and I'll link that down below for you. Um, I'm using white jeans, but we were just having a bit of fun because we actually met up again that day and decided well, we'll just do a little bit of posing, both wearing the same jacket and how we would style it. So Mary's used the pictures in her blog. I'm using them here to show you different ways of styling, sort of like an ivory linen uh, jacket. Do you remember ladies when I was talking about my hair and the problems I had with my hair? And I've done a several videos on this, which I will link for you at the end. Um, I have recently been introduced to a wonderful hairdryer and that's partly how I managed to get this lovely sleek look. But I want to also tell you about a shampoo that I bought and was, uh, I, saw, I read about it and it's recommended on the internet as a medical grade type shampoo. Quite pricey but I think for me it's been worth investing in. Um, and it's a shampoo called Mediceuticals. So look up Mediceuticals online. If I can find them, I'll link them down below for you. It, okay, this is a conditioner. There's a shampoo as well. And there's also a spray that you put on to your hair after as well. You leave the, both you leave in for a little while, about four minutes. I find the conditioner really does make my hair soft, sleek and full. And the shampoo uh, does its job. It cleans my hair. Read up about it for yourself, see if it's appropriate for you if you are suffering hair loss. I'm convinced that it has helped me. Right, so how did I get this wonderful bob today? Well, I have had to um, keep away from hot air products, heated products, and generally products in my hair. My hair was so fragile, I was losing fistfuls literally every hair wash. I went down to having to wash my hair only once every two weeks. And how I did videos then was I batch recorded. In the week where I had clean hair, I batch recorded. So, um, you know, I worked my way around it, but I, I just really reduced my hair washing down to two weeks. I put oil on my scalp for about three days before I was about to wash it. I used castor oil on my scalp, which gave this really flat, greasy effect. And then if I was going to be uh, seeing someone, I put a wig on because not so much for the hair loss, but because of the grease on my hair. Um, anyway, let's talk about the hairdryer. Today's sponsor of a clip of this video is actually Zuvi, who are introducing us to their Halo hairdryer. And I have to say, I am, can I say it, blown away. It is actually a, a fantastic little hairdryer. And I'm gonna show you why. So my hair's wet, I've washed it. I've actually got makeup on because the heat of this hairdryer is so minimal that it doesn't melt my makeup, it's absolutely fine. But what I start off doing, because I normally part my hair on the left, this is my left, um, to give myself some body, I part on the right with a comb and I spray with Colour Wow Raise the 
root. I'm be putting it on the fast mode. So on fast mode, you'll see the light um, glowing, helping to dry the hair, so it's not gonna use so much heat. I'm comb it back onto my normal side. I'm gonna put some heat protection spray on, despite the fact it doesn't use much heat just because my hair is just so fra fragile at the moment, but I think it's, it's a good thing to do anyway, isn't it, protect your hair. So to style my hair, I swap out the head of the hairdryer and put on the style concentrator, and it now moves to style mode. So with a round brush, I, I'm now these days curling my hair under as I'm drying it to get some style into it. <laughs> We have a decent hairstyle, very quickly, very efficiently, without much heat. So the hairdryer has four modes on the back here and you just press this little button to get the mode. There is the care mode, fast mode, soft mode and style mode. In order to have cool air, just hold that button in while you're using the dryer. Switch it on and off with that little button there, up and down. On fast mode, you get this wonderful blue, greeny, turquoisey light that's helping your hair dry using light technology. How different is that? Care mode is for if you're actually wanting just to um, have a, a gentle care of your hair. Styling mode, obviously, as I was using the brush, styling it. Fast mode, you want a quick dry. And soft mode, you're going to want a little bit of a bounce. That's how I've interpreted it. And so it comes with this style concentrator, gentle air diffuser. That is for sensitive scalps because it disperses the air more. And your good old diffuser. You can, of course, dry your hair without an attachment on it at all and just go super fast, dry your hair. Oh, it's a nice mirror too. Ta-da! Anyway, the idea of using this hair dryer is that it's actually gonna be a lot healthier for the hair. Using, on the fast mode, using the light technology, that's gonna retain more moisture in the hair, be less damaging on the hair shaft, give more shine as well. Less energy consumption as well. And we are thinking about energy these days and our energy bills, aren't we? Globally. And apparently a normal standard hair dryer could actually use more energy than a microwave. The back of it enables, it is removable, with a little bit of a twist, and enables you to then clean out the filter. The filter's at the back here. It's a hygiene tick. So I hope you enjoyed that little run through of my hair. And a thank you to Zuvi for introducing us to their Halo hair dryer. I have to say, I have replaced my hairdryer that I was using on my dressing table with the Zuvi. It looks elegant, it's functional, it's light to use, and I'm loving the results I'm getting on my hair. Right, back to what I wore so far in September. Right, onto the diary, where I'll give you the rest of the outfits on a day-by-day -day basis. Sometimes we just have those days, don't we? We have those days where we're just not feeling what we're wearing. So I like this jacket, I like this blouse, I like these jeans, I like the bag. I've put the lot together. It's not bad. It doesn't look great either. But on the other hand, all we're going to do is walk through the woods, take the dogs to a pub garden, have a drink, and walk home again. And I'm wearing walking boots because it's going to be a bit mucky and muddy out there through the woods. So I'm not really feeling it. But it's too warm for a heavyweight jacket that would go with this. And so I'm actually going for a lightweight jacket. And my navy lightweight jacket is in the capsule wardrobe. This is what I'm wearing. We all have those days. I'm with you. I'm having one of those days. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling what I'm wearing. But I'm wearing it anyway. It's as well, I did put on something half reasonable because I bumped into a friend inside the pub when I just walked through to use the ladies. Today I'm up to London. I'm meeting an ex-colleague. What we're gonna do is go out and have a drink and have something to eat. And I'm going around the London Bridge Hayes Galleria area, which is kind of like a back street area of London Bridge. And it's a bit touristy as well as a bit city. So I'm actually wearing casual trousers. I'm wearing some black trousers that are sort of um, a polyester type material that will keep me not too hot, but warm and um, they've got a stripe down the side with an animal print. Over the top I'm wearing a trench coat because it looks like it's going to pour with rain today. It's warm and I'm going to uh, take an umbrella. My bag will be a black one. On top of that footwear, I would be tempted to wear white trainers with this, but given that it's rained a lot recently, I've got to walk down a footpath and it's going to be a bit muddy, I am actually going to wear the oh so out of date so yesterday, black trainers with white edging. So today I'm wearing my embroidered 
blouse and cargo pants, off to see a lady in the next town and have a meeting, do a video as well, and that will be coming up in November. So you're gonna to have to stay, maybe even December, you're gonna to have to stay on tender hooks for that one. It's a kind of a conversation with, anyway, exciting. But today it is cargo pants. Now, I am not so keen on the belt with these cargo pants, but the story here is that I've got to go. I haven't got time to fuss around. The belt I wanted to use, a thin little belt, wouldn't hold my trousers up. I can't go out like that. So I got the best thing that I could put on that would actually go with the blouse, colour-wise, and uh, it's holding my trousers up. I'm gonna have to live with it. I have got to go out the house and that's real life. So, ta-ra. Well, I'm off to London again today. I'm gonna go to Covent Garden. It might be chilly, so I'm using a long line cardigan, but I'm gonna take it in my bag. Because of all of that, I'm taking a big bag to carry all that paraphernalia. Today, today I'm wearing my lightweight jacket it's a bit warm and muggy. We're going to go on a dog walk up to town, actually. We're taking to, because in the UK, some, in some bars, you can actually take dogs. So that's what we're going to do. Walk them up there and go, give them a run around the park. And um, I think we're going to have a quick little snootle of drink. Um, so I'm wearing my navy camisole that I got from Lily Silk. Because I'm not eating, I'm just drinking. And I'm nervous of wearing something like this if I'm eating, so it's an opportunity to wear it. Great jacket over the top and my green cargo trousers. And I'm wearing white trainers. Right, so let's show you what I'm wearing. So it's, um, yes, this little necklace on, got bracelet, silver down here. That's fine, mixing my metals. Navy blue watch. Today is a day at home apart from going to the vet. I know, domesticity, it happens. So today I'm taking the dogs for their inoculations and I'm wearing my green cargo trousers. Um, I put on some trainers to go to the vets. Other than that, I'm indoors today. And um, I'm wearing my new three-quarter sleeved top that I got in my Lucchiero box. The top that is cotton and polyester. So that's it. A domestic outfit. Well, we're at the middle part of September and sadly, obviously we've had a an event in the UK that has saddened us. Um, I am today gonna go out to a local town hall, uh, stand in front of the town hall, just to hear the proclamation of the new king that has now reached our town today. So I'm wearing my t-shirt that's got sort of um, leopard print stars on it, my safari jacket in yellow from Marks and Spencers and white jeans. I'm gonna squeeze that last bit out of the white jeans. It's a sunny day and the temperatures are about right for the white jeans. The, the look of the sky is right, being sunshine and bright. And I think that's the type of weather for white jeans at this time of year. So that is what I'm doing, white trainers. And then probably it's gonna be light wash jeans from there on or dark indigo. Yep, I'll be saying goodbye to the white jeans, I reckon. So, let's go. So today's a day at home. I'm just going to be doing some filming, doing some talking audio calls, video calls with sponsors, emails, that kind of thing, you know, the type of day. Um, I'm wearing a polka dot, well, ditzy, ditzy blouse actually with some tan and ivories, the base. Um, I've got my ivory jeans on because I might as well, while well, I can still wear them, although the weather is very dark and rainy, so I may not be wearing ivory jeans for much longer. I'm wearing a navy belt, and I would like you to comment down below why I'm wearing a navy belt. One option is that it's a design statement. It um, It's a statement piece in the outfit because the, the shirt, the blouse, and the jeans are a little bit bland, and I wanted a little bit more contrast, and I like navy with tan and ivory and the second option is that it wasn't until I took the photo that I realised I had a navy belt on and so totally forgot I had a navy belt and I would rather have had a brown belt. So what is your view of my belt? Which option do you think? Comment down below. Right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bending down to the camera here as you do. So I'm going out for coffee with a friend and wearing white jeans, taking a light coloured neutral bag. Wearing this top that I bought from Marks and Spencers this year, the wrap top, and I'm gonna have to put something in here because it's a little bit comes a little bit undone there. Um, yeah, white trainers, white jeans, 
trying to get the use out of my lighter clothes at the beginning of the month before we get into the blacks and the darks. Yeah, that's it really. That's it. These are my outfits that I wore at the beginning of September. If you are wanting to replicate for your last week or so of September going into the beginning of October, if I was you, I would swap out the, the white jeans and just replace with black if you want to replicate these looks because we've kind of got to that time of year where actually black is really more the thing than white. Right, I'll see you all in another outfit.